Hey makers, this is Dravin, and in this episode, I'm going to talk about one of the important concept in model-driven application. Let's say for an example, this is one model-driven application for live application I do have here. Now, whenever I click on new button, I do have certain fields like this. Now, what I want to achieve here is, I want to apply required field validation in my model-driven application. Let's say for an example, uh, this leave type should be required or employee name should be required or start date and end date should be required. I want to achieve this asterisk sign inside the model driven application. But the twist here is I don't want to achieve it via business rule. I want to achieve it via JavaScript code. So how we can implement required field validation using JavaScript inside the model driven application. That's the agenda for today's session. So let's get started. So first of all, let me open up my model driven application over here. Now this is where my model driven application screen looks like. You can see that in that model driven application, I have this form. Let's edit our form. So this is the form consumed by the model driven application. Now to add the JavaScript file inside the model driven application, you need to click on the JavaScript section available over here like this. Click on that and click on add library option from here. Now over here, you need to add a new web resources for yourself. But first of all, let's check about the JavaScript code, which we need to insert inside this model driven application. So first of all, let me explain you this JavaScript code over here. So first of all, here I have created one function called set required field validation. And this function is responsible for making the field required. Here I'm passing execution context from the model driven application. People who are from model driven background already know what is execution context. So it is the context which is passed from your model driven form to your JavaScript code. So using this execution context, you will be getting your form context. And that form context is something which we are storing in one of the variable. After that, we are creating one more function over here called make required field. And in make required field, we are passing the same execution context along with that, which field you want to make it required. So here I have taken one common function for that. And first of all, I'm just doing here like form context is equal to execution context dot get form context. And over here, I'm just passing this form context dot get attribute and inside that we need to pass which field we want to make required okay and then set required label as required which means that if you set required which means that that field become required field now here how to pass that field name so field name is something which we are passing as a function over here which is coming from your fields name so let's say for an example here let's say this is the field leave type and i want to make this field required so I select this field and click on edit column. I need logical name of the column. So in Dataverse, every field has its own logical name. So you can see here, this is my leave type column and its logical name is something like this. So this name is something I need to pass over there into my JavaScript code. Same way for other field as well, I need to do the exact same thing. Let's say if I want to make employee name as required i need to click on advanced option and over here as well you will find the logical name of the column same column name you need to pass here okay so now i'm opening my code again and you can see that i have passed the exact same internal name to call my make required field function over here so in make required field execution context we are already passing from the model driven application and field name we are always passing over here so let's say i want to make four field is required field in my model driven application so i am calling this function four time make required field and over there i'm just passing the execution context along with that i'm just passing the name of the field over here and as i pass the name of the field it will get the form context and form context dot get attribute dot set required label as required and field name is always coming as a parameter from the above function right so this is how you can simply write your javascript code and don't worry this javascript code link is also available in the description box so do check it out and you can download this code directly from there 
Now let me save this code in one of the JavaScript file. So here I have saved this code into required field validation.js file. Now it's time to upload this file inside the model driven application and need to configure the code with our model driven form. To do that, as I said, we will again go to JavaScript library and we will click on add library option from here. And now from here, let's add a new web resource and let's choose a file and upload the file. So this is the JavaScript file I want to upload. So I'm saving required fill validation.js and I'm just writing here like leave application required field. Okay, and you can also provide any name over here. So I'm just copying the exact same name over here. This is the JavaScript file and I need to click on save and publish. So this will create a new web resources inside this. So web resource has been created and now let's search for the web resource that we just created. Leave application required field. Click on add and that's how it looks like. You can see that your library has been added perfectly. Now. To add the JavaScript onto this form, make sure that you do not select any field over here. You just select your overall form so that it is highlighted with this color of blue border over here. When you select this and go to the event section afterwards, it has on load event over here. Click on that. When you expand on load, you will be see event handler. Click on that and on load, you are basically calling that specific JavaScript that you have already added and from there you need to pass the function name which function you want to call first. So let's say for an example in my case the function name was set required field validation and here we need execution context as well as a parameter. So we will copy this function name from here pasting it over here and make sure that you also check this tick box pass execution context to the first parameter because obviously that parameter we need into our JavaScript. I'm selecting this and click on done and you have set up your event handler perfectly. Now click on save and publish. Once you click on save and publish, this model driven form will be published. Go back and publish your app as well. Let's click on play. And let's see whether we are able to see the latest change over there or not. So let's say I'm clicking on new button from here. And now here you can see that my JavaScript code has been perfectly applied. And you can clearly see this asterisk sign perfectly applied over here like this, right? Four fields we applied as a validation. And for all four fields, I can see asterisk sign. And now let's say even if I'm trying to click on save, it will throw me an error that, okay, this is required field. So this is how you can simply apply your required field validation inside your model driven application. Hope this video helps you and values your time. If so, hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram because these are the platform where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. Looking for any paid consultation or training? Uh, visit my website. All the links are available in the description box. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.